Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be all about assigning constants and variables in JavaScript. Now, there are two keywords that allow you to assign constants and variables. They are const and let. So const is a constant and it cannot change. If you try and change a constant in your program, it will throw an error and say you cannot change this. This is on purpose because you want constants to be things that are not supposed to change. Let is a variable and will allow you to change it. You can update the value to anything you like and that's why you would use a variable. It's very important that you use const whenever possible. If the value is not going to change or if you're not sure if the value is going to change, use const until you come into a time where you need to change it into a variable to a let. There's several reasons for this, um, such as the fact that const is more efficient on your memory usage, so it'll make your program run faster. Also, const stops you from accidentally reassigning variables that you didn't mean to. And this sounds silly, but when you get involved with a very, very big types of applications, it can become very easy to accidentally reuse the same variable names and then you'll have these bugs pop up and you have no idea what's happening because it's not throwing any errors or any problems, but it's not working right. So if you use constant, it'll throw errors at you and you'll understand why, oh, okay, that makes sense, now I, now I see where my problem is. So use const whenever possible. The basic format for creating variables is simply const, whatever the variable name is, var variable name equals value, whatever the value is going to be. Notice this is different if you're coming from C++ background because you don't have to declare the type. JavaScript is what's called dynamically typed, meaning that it automatically plugs in the type for you. So you don't do const int equals or const string or whatever like you would in C++. You just const, then the name of the variable, and then whatever the value is. So now I've created that, and if I call variable name, it will give me back whatever I assigned it to. Now let me try and change that. Variable name, oops, equals 42. That's the error you'll get, assignment to constant variable. So if you ever see this error, you're trying to change a constant and it won't let you. So I cleared my console and let's let xyz equal five. And now I can xyz equals 10 and it works fine. Another cool thing, or some people find it very annoying, it just depends on your background and your beliefs, is that you can change the type. XYZ equals now I'm a string. XYZ. And it's now a string even though it was initially a number. XYZ equals true. Now it's a boolean. XYZ equals undefined. Now it's undefined. You can change your variable types in JavaScript as long as it's a variable and not a constant. Constants or variables can hold all of the data types that we've already seen. So for example, const puppy could equal a string max. And if I call puppy, it will return max. Const age equals 0 0.5. Oops, not a string, 0 0.5, because he's about half a year old. And so now I've got a number assigned to a variable, const adorable, we know it equals true. Eventually you're gonna get sick of hearing about my puppy, but I don't care, you're gonna have to deal with it. In order to access that variable, you simply call the first name. So const first equals John, const middle equals Cougar, const last equals Mellencamp, And then I can simply call all of those first, plus middle, plus last, John Cougar Mellon. If you define a variable, so let price equal, I don't know, 2550. Let tax equal price times 0 0.06. Therefore, price equals price plus tax. And now I price is now 2703. However, if it's a constant, as we've talked about, you cannot update the value. Const cost equals two dollars. Cost equals two dollars plus a fifty cent tip. 
and it won't let me. Assignment to constant variable. You cannot update a const. One more thing I want to talk about in this video is the old assignment keyword, var. You used to use var to assign constants and variables. Realistically, there were no such thing as constants in JavaScript. You could not make something a constant in JavaScript, which was super annoying and inefficient. Fortunately, they have since updated the language with ES6 is what they've called it. ES6, if you're interested, go ahead and look it up as an update. But it has a ton of things that it added to the language, and it added the const and let keywords. Always use const and let. Var is the old variable name. The only reason I'm even bringing it up is because you might see some old posts on Stack Overflow or something like that that use the var keyword. I don't want you to be confused. But nobody uses var anymore. Now, to be fair, there are some weird fringe cases where it might be useful, but it's so unlikely you'll see them unless you're doing this full-time for a number of years before you ever run into one. So don't ever use var, not for this course, not for your life, not ever until you're professional at this and you have a reason to. Use const and let. If it needs to change, use let. If it does not need to change, use const. By default, use const until you need to make it change. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.